here this morning. Glory to God. Amen. If your neighbor didn't raise his hand, then you need to just put your hands on him and pray for him right now. In the name of Jesus. (laughs) 
Woo, glory to God. I've got the victory. Amen. The Lord had brought me out to bring me in to his glory, his presence, his anointing. Hallelujah. It was a vicarious victory. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary in my place. Amen. In my place. All you school teachers, y'all didn't know I knew that word vicarious, did you? Amen. Vicarious. Praise the Lord. Well, glory. This is an awesome day. Amen. This is an awesome day. Look at your neighbor and say, you're looking good today. You're looking good today. I'm telling you, you're looking good. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. My goodness. Just look at this crowd today. We got an awesome, awesome attendance. God's doing great things. Amen. I'm telling you, this is the greatest church in Malvern, Arkansas. I'm just going to tell you right now. Amen. It's the greatest church in Malvern, Arkansas. It's a privilege to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, didn't we have a great time last night? Amen. I mean, I'm telling you, my Valentine was there. I got to sit with my sugar booger and eat good food and had a great time. I'm telling you. And uh, there was a great, great, I think the Soggy Bottom Boys was there last night. They were. Amen. They sang, uh, what was that we sang anyway? Uh, oh, uh, Clementine. Clementine. Oh, my darling. Oh, yeah. But we had a great, great time. And I tell you, just give these ladies, amen, a hand in our youth group. Amen. It was an awesome, awesome time. Praise the Lord. It was great. Amen. Also, I want to remind our board that we uh, need to have a meeting this afternoon at 5 o'clock. WM's Chocolate Feast is today. They've got a, to a table loaded up with chocolate down there, and they've got all kinds of stuff down there. And so be sure and go down there and partake of that. $5 a box. Buy your sugar booger some chocolate. Amen. And then go home and eat it. Praise the Lord. Also, uh, food distribution has been changed to the fourth Saturday of the month, starting February the 25th. Distribution will begin at 8.30 a.m. and end at 9.30. If you would like to help, please be here and, uh, and help us distribute this food. Also, prime timers are gearing up to take a trip on February the 23rd to Heber Springs to see the trumpeter swans. We went and seen those last year, and I'm telling you, it's just amazing. It's beautiful, uh, those big old swans out there and, and uh, right in Arkansas. That's just amazing to me. Amen. And so uh, be sure and come if you would like. Uh, the, the van will be leaving the church at 9 a.m. There's a sign-up sheet at the back corner back there on the table. And if you have any questions on that, you can see Sister Jiminy. I think the deadline to sign up is February the 22nd. Also, the annual business meeting will be Wednesday night, the 22nd of Febu uh, February. Uh, and so uh, be sure and be here for that. We are canceling our online giving website. Our online giving website. Uh, it is, uh, we took this on during the time of COVID when we were not assembled here at the church. And so uh, we're going to cancel that account because it's no longer feasible. It's costing us more than it is helping. And so we're going to cancel that. And just to give you information, if you are uh, registered in that online giving and it is automatically coming out of your account, as soon as we cancel, it will stop. So don't be worried about uh, it coming out of your account from then on. It will be canceled, and all information will be uh, voided. And so uh, uh, just to let you be aware of that. And so uh, we, uh, we have an offering box in the back uh, on the wall back there for our tithes and our offerings. Just put your checks or uh, your envelopes there for your giving there in that offering box. Also, uh, we have an announcement that we'd like to make. Pastor uh, Dylan's coming to announce about the uh, camps for this year. So welcome this young man as he comes. If y'all, uh, I, I, he's kind of camouflaged here, isn't he? 
this, this color. I'm saying. Praise the Lord. Uh, so camp, camp is in June. Uh, kids camp is in July. But we have to start gearing up for camp right, right about now. Um, we have several students and several kids that are going to camp. And because of everything that's going up, camp has gone up. It went up last year. It, thankfully, it has stayed the same as last year. We're praying it doesn't go up anymore. It's 185 per kid. That's youth department and kids church. So whether whoever goes, it's going to be 185. Um, that covers food, housing, it covers all kinds of things. Um, but I don't know how many of you have ever been to an Arkansas kids camp or youth camp. We go expecting, and God never fails, okay? There are lives changed. People are baptized with the Holy Spirit. Um, people walk out of there, they're not the same. So we really want to invest in these students. And so if you would like to sponsor a kid or a, or a, a youth for a kids camp or for camp, youth camp, uh, please see me or Sister Michelle, and we will get you that information. Um, if you if you don't want to get with us and you just want to give um, back there discreetly, you can mark it as youth or kids sponsorship for camp. It's camp sponsorship. That'll be as simple as that. Um, but thank you so much for sowing into these students, and we you know, thank you. we we have such a generous church. I'm telling you, we we are thankful for such a generous church. So that's all I got. I'm gonna turn it back over to Pastor. Thank you guys. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, if you want to sow seed and good ground, sponsor one of these one of these, one of these youth or children uh, to go to camp. It's, it is a life-changing event. God will pour His Spirit upon them, and the Word of God will be poured into them. And I'm telling you, it's just something about children and, and young people being in a service with all children and young people and just worshiping and glorifying God, and God does great things uh, in their lives. And so if you want to sow seed in good ground, be sure and sponsor one, two, or three, or all of these kids uh, for this camp. I'm telling you, we, uh, Brenda and I, we raised our kids, and our kids were kind of stair-stepped, and so there was times when we sent all three of ours to the same camp, and it was pretty expensive. It's really expensive, and so if you can be sure and help these kids, we would appreciate it because we want all of our kids to go. We want all of them that, that wants to go. We want them to be there, amen, so that God can impact their lives mightily. Amen? amen. Well, glory to God. Amen. Let's stand up and invite the presence of the Lord in our service here today. We are so glad, amen, to see Sister uh, 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 Sister Patsy Bailey in service with us today. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Joy, right? Joy. Amen. Look at there. Joy has stepped out of the den. She's come out of hibernation. She got a clear report, didn't you? Isn't that right, Joy? That's amazing, isn't it? That is awesome. Praise the Lord. We are so honored to have them in service with us. Glad to have each and every one of our guests with us as well. Let's invite the presence of the Lord. Gracious Father, we come to you, O oh God. We ask you, O oh God, to minister and to move in this house. We recognize, O oh God, that, Lord, we have come here today, Lord, and, Lord, that it would be nothing, Lord, without you. We need you. We ask you, O oh God, to be with us as we worship you. Be with us in the ministering of the word. Lord, just move and minister your power and your glory. And Lord, accomplish all that you have set forth to do. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you just let your anointing, Lord, move in this house. Holy Spirit, have your perfect will and your perfect way. And we'll give you all the glory and all the praise. And everybody said... Amen and amen. Turn around and give everybody a big howdy wave. Howdy wave. Howdy wave. Brother Bob, would you come? Sing it, Bobby. Praise the Lord. I forgot somebody, Bob. Sister Dina is with us in this. Amen today. Amen. Sister Dina, we appreciate it. came to Jesus where he born and sat. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. And now his love has made my heart so glad. He took my sins 
Blessing by his grace until the crown I gain. Well, he brought me out of the mire claim. He set my feet on the rock to stay. He put the song in my soul today. A song of praise. A song for the new song I pray By day and by night His sweet notes I will write My heart's overflowing I feel free I praise my Redeemer Who had rescued me And he brought me out of the mighty claim He set my feet on a rock to stay He put the song in my soul today song of praise, hallelujah. I think of his wonderful mercy to me. I praise him to all his goodness I see. I sing of salvation home and abroad. Till many shall hear the truth, trust in God. Wait, wait. about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. 
I'm not talking about some king over in some foreign country, but I'm talking about the king that has his abode in my heart and in my life. Glory to God. The one who has set up his kingdom. Amen. In me. Glory to God. That's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. We want to go to the Lord in prayer this morning as we do. We want to continue to remember these that were on our prayer list. Some of these are here today, but we want to also continue to pray for them as well. Tom and Dina Payne, Nora Battle, Joy Wright, Steve Hope, Betty Rogers, Larry Collins, Jonathan Thacker, Jonathan Jeffers, and Bill Austin, Carolyn Otts, Patsy Bailey, John and Jeanette Burton, Carl Jean Smith, Vincent DeGiulio, Kim Shipp, and Sean Bush. If you're here this morning and you have a need, would you lift your hand? The Lord knows your need and your situation. Let's join together and present these to the Lord today. Yes, gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can come before you. Lord, we could come, O oh Lord, and bring our petitions, our needs, and our desires, O oh God. Lord, you never turn away. Lord, you never turn a deaf ear. But, Lord, you hear us when we cry out to you. And so, Lord, I pray, God, that you'd manifest and reveal your precious word. Lord, let your word become a revelation in these needs, O oh God. Lord, with your stripes and by your stripes, we speak healing. We believe and therefore speak. I pray, God, that you administer and raise them up. Glorify your precious name. Let your word, oh God, just minister and move in their lives, oh God. Lord, bless, oh God, and supply every need that's represented in this house. Lord, you've seen the hands that were raised. And Lord, you, oh God, are already working on their behalf. And I pray that you'll just minister, Lord, and bless and touch every heart and every life, oh God. Lord, move, oh God, in this house today. Move in this place, oh Lord, with your power and your spirit. And we'll give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Worship him, church. Worship him. Hallelujah. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. You're Jehovah Jireh. You're my provider. Jehovah. Lord, 
the glory. We give you all the honor. Hallelujah. Lord, you, oh God, have been faithful, Lord, in our hearts. You've been faithful, oh God. And we rejoice today. We rejoice, oh God, and give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, oh God, in this place. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I want somebody to know this morning, even in the middle of your dilemma, in the middle of your mess, even when you have failed him and messed up, even there, even there, he'll not be hid. He's not hiding from you this morning. He's here this morning to reveal himself. He's waiting for the opportunity. He's waiting for you to seek him. He's waiting for you to call out to him. Listen, David knew, amen, after all that he had done, after all the mess and all the failure in his life, listen to what David said in Psalms 139 and 10. He said, even there. I'm telling you, those words jumped out to me the other morning. And I shared it with my brother-in-law, amen. Even there, glory to God, even in the middle of the muck, even in the middle of our mistake, even in the middle of our sin, even there, he was there. He was there. David said, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Even there in that hospital room, even there in your situation, in your dilemma, he's there to take you by the hand and to lead you through the trial, to lead you through the storm, to lead you through the fire, to lead you through the lion's den, to lead you through the valley of the shadow of death, to lead you and to hold you. Hallelujah. Listen, this old world and your friends might have cast you into the fiery furnace, but I want you to know there's a fourth man there with you. Even there, hallelujah, he's right there with you. He hasn't left you. He hasn't deserted you. Even in the middle of the times that you have failed him, even those times that you have forgotten him and left him, even there, he's there with you to grab a hold of you, to take you through the storm, to take you through the test, even there, even there. He's here this morning, church. He's here this morning. Amen. You may have thought, hey man, that I just so happened to make up my mind to come to church this morning. You hadn't been here in months. You hadn't been here in a while. And you just woke up this morning. But I want you to know that God foreordained for you to be here today. God knows the struggle. He knows the mess. He knows the problems in your life. And even there, even there, He led you to church. He led you to the house of God. He brought you here for such a time as this. Now, Lord, even there, I pray that you would take them by the hand and bring them to these altars of prayer. Lord, bring those that are hurting, those that are messed up, those that have failed you, those that have lost their zeal, Those, oh Lord, those that, oh Lord, have drawn cold. Lord, those that need help through the struggle. Those that need help in this time, in this world, would you bring them now? Hallelujah. These these altars are open. I want the church to come and find you a place. I want the church, I want the blood-bought, spirit-filled church of God to come to find you a place and pray. And those of you that are here that have grown cold in your heart, those of you that the Lord is speaking to, I want you to come with them. Come with them right now. Come on, church, come on. Come on, get up and come on up here. Hallelujah. The Lord is in this house. He's moving, hallelujah, in this place. He's moving in this house. Amen. Come and bring your situation. Bring and bring your dilemma. Come and bring your trials and your tests. Come and bring your sickness and your
your diagnosis. Come and bring it to the Lord today. Bring it to the Lord even there. He's grabbing you by the hand. He's leading you. He's directing you. He's moving in your life.
chapter 7 and verse 24 says and from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon he got into a boat he crossed over into the land of the Gentiles the crowds had grown so big over in Israel because he was healing the sick opening blinded eyes and deaf ears the miracles and the power of God was flowing out of him and so he tried to find a place that he could rest Larry he tried to find a place that he could come apart and rest amen just try Tyree and Sidon and it says he entered into a house and would have no man know it and would have no man know it but it says he could not be hid he could not be hid he had healed so many blinded eyes and deaf ears he had made the lame to walk and the dead to rise he had brought them out of tombs after they had been dead for four days he had exhibited the mighty power of God after 400 years of darkness and quietness from God. All of a sudden, the Messiah rose up and came and showed the power of God walking to and fro throughout all the region. Amen. Bringing blessing and glorifying the precious name of the Lord. And everywhere he went, people were grabbing him. They were thronging him. They were coming to him and falling at his feet. They were worshiping him. They were glorifying him. Yes, Lord. And he tried to come apart. He would tell those when he healed them, he said, tell no man about this. But they just spread his fame. They continued to spread the fame. They continued to spread the fame until he could not be hid. I want to just show, share something with you just briefly. This is the closing part of my message. Listen, he won't hide from those who seek him. He never turned away anyone. He never turned anyone away. Even though he was on the mountain and tried to get away, he went to the mountain to pray, Brother Tom. He went to the mountain, but the multitudes came. The multitudes came. And there he preached the Beatitudes. He taught them. He ministered to them. He loved on them. He shared them. And then he fed them. He blessed them. He never turned away. He will not hide from those who seek him. Jeremiah 29 and 13 says, And you shall seek me and find me. 
You shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. When you get serious, when you get serious and turn the television off, turn off Facebook and get on your face before God and seek Him, you will find Him. He'll not turn. He'll not turn. Secondly, amen, secondly, amen, He will not hide in those who find Him. He will not hide in you after you become a child of God because you become a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things pass away and all things become new. Your old friends won't like you anymore. The drugs won't help you anymore. The alcohol won't null and dullify it anymore. Amen. The pills won't take care and bring you up to the high that you experience when you have met Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Amen. He'll not hide from you and He'll not be able to be hid in you because you are the church of Jesus. Christ. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And the light of God has been birthed in you and everywhere you go, you will shine. You will shine because you have been made different. Hallelujah. And last, he will not hide from those who reject him. He'll not hide from those who have spent their whole life rejecting His wooing and His drawing. Don't reject Him, church. Don't reject Him. Because the Bible said, amen, that one of these days, amen, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't wait until then. Don't wait until then. I want everybody to stand. Hallelujah. I want you to bow your heads. Every eye closed. I don't want anybody looking around. This is serious. This is a God moment. Hallelujah. If you're here this morning, if you're here this morning, and you're not sure that you've been saved. You're not sure that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. You're not sure that you're going to heaven. I want you to raise your hand. There's nobody looking around but me. Just be honest with God. Be honest with God. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. God wants you to be sure. He wants you to be sure. You're not sure. Is anyone, anyone, anyone? Hallelujah. Anyone? Okay. Okay. We're sure. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, that you, oh God, have given this opportunity. I thank you, Lord, that you never hide from us. You never hide in us. Lord, you'll never hide from us throughout eternity. I rejoice in that. Would you lift your hands now, church? Just lift your hands and worship God in this house. Worship God in this house. Worship God in this house. Don't leave this place unfulfilled. Don't leave this place without that assurance. Don't leave this place because we're in the very presence of God. We're in the very presence of the Lord. Don't leave this place, amen, without your need being met. Don't leave this place. Don't stay on the porch, but get in the water. Get in the water of His presence. Get in the water. Press in. Hallelujah. Be like the woman with the issue of blood and push your way in. Hallelujah. And get a hold of the hem of His garment. Amen. He is not hiding from you. But he's here this morning. He's here this morning. Hallelujah. As they begin to sing, let's worship him, church. Let's worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord, we need you, Lamb of God. We need you. We need you, Lamb of God. Yeah. 